Hey guys, Rhett Wagner here. Uh, just wanted to go ahead and give our last report from my administration this year. So um, we'll be switching off administrations in SGA um, pretty soon. So we, y'all probably saw, we just had uh, election day this past Friday on February 4th. And the results of those election were that Jace, Jake Haston was elected the next president. Uh, Coleman Turnipseed is the new vice president and Jake Darling will be the new treasurer for SGA. So um, I wanted to take this time to just say thank you all um, to the Auburn students. Thanks for voting us in this year and uh, allowing us to serve you all in SGA this term. Um, it's been one of the better experiences of my life. Um, I've had a ton of fun being able to make sure that we were making the student voice heard. Um, I know I have the utmost faith in uh, Jake and his uh, administration to be able to do an excellent job in the next year on SGA. Um, I know that he'll be listening to y'all's voices um, and making sure that he's using all of his ability to make sure um, that the student voice is heard by administration here at Auburn. So um, that being said, just wanted to say War Eagle and that's all. Hey you guys, War Eagle. My name is Cole Callahan and I am now your former SGA Vice President. I will technically officially be your former on February 27th at our installation um, slash departure banquet. But I just kind of wanted to take this time to thank a few people and reflect on my year as, a, as vice president, my year as the presiding member of the Student Senate, and then also talk about my personal growth that I've experienced as well. So a uh, few months earlier on the one of these podcast talks, I actually talked about how I had taken the MCAT this summer, and I'm very blessed and thankful to say that um, as of this Christmas, I was offered an interview um, and then completed it actually last week at the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Medicine, uh, where I now am eagerly awaiting my decision on March 10th about whether or not I will be admitted. But it was kind of during that interview and in the few days before where I really reflected on my time as vice president, especially considering that the interview is Thursday and elections was Friday, um, and realized that my term was coming to an end. And if there is anything that I could say, it is just a profound thanks to this position and everyone who has been a part of my journey within Auburn SGA. Um, the confidence that I feel like I've gained uh, and the growth I've seen both personally and professionally, it's been noted by my family, my friends, my, you know, my siblings, my advisors, my coworkers. I really feel like this has been one of the most impactful experiences that I've had in my life and the way that I feel like I'm able to carry myself, and more importantly, the way that I feel like I'm able to understand people and listen to others. I really, really am appreciative to every single person who's been able to pour into me, to my advisors and those who came before me, and it's been my absolute honor to hopefully be able to do the same for others, because I can say with pure confidence, I genuinely don't think I would have had that interview um, at medical school if it hadn't been for my experiences in this involvement suite on campus uh, and with the people who work around me. So. I just wanted to give a sincere thanks to my executive team and to my advisors as well. Now as far as the Student Senate and everything that went along with it this year, I am equally as proud um, and equally think we had a, a really impactful experience this year. The Student Senate is comprised of 34 members, uh, 27 were brand new to Auburn University um, student government. Most importantly, they were brand new to Senate. A lot of them were sophomores. And so when I was sworn in and I looked out at that room of 34 people, I realized, honestly, more importantly than what the platform I ran on was, was going to be leading these 27 fresh faces into student government and into the world that I've been able to grow and learn so much from. And so my goal really was to watch and help them grow as leaders to provide them resources and access to pursue the goals that they wanted to, and most importantly, to invest in them as people. And hopefully they do the same with the others. And if you go back and watch the Eagle Eye recording this past Monday for our final Senate, I think you would see exactly that. You're looking at students who I watched be nervous and shaky and unsure of themselves a few months ago to being so, so proud and confident in themselves, and more importantly, such eloquent speakers. I heard some of the best speeches I think I've ever heard on Monday evening from people, some of them just being off the cuff. Um, I am infinitely proud of those 34 members, especially the 27 who were brand new, um, and I'm very thankful to have been able to watch them grow and learn. 
from our conversations that we had to have this summer with the Chief Justice confirmation being as difficult as they were, I was extraordinarily proud of the way we were able to handle that professionally and the way we listened to feedback and then implemented it in our decisions. Um, between the resolutions we've passed that I really do think have reflected the student voice, to the bills and changes we've made to even some of our own internal practices, I really do believe we served the student body um, very well this past year, and I think that we are set up to do the same in the year following, with Coleman Turtup Seed being a phenomenal replacement for myself. So I could talk all day long about how proud I am of not only myself, but this group around me, but I just want to end by saying thank you to Auburn, thank you to those of you who have been watching these and keeping up with what we've been doing, thank you to Brad and Jamie and Pearson, who's no longer here, my advisors and my role models, as well as to prominently AJ, who has made all of these happen and continually serves the student body um, through Eagle Eye. So I just want to say thank you uh, and War Eagle for one last time as Vice President. In reflecting over the last year, I'm very proud of all the progress that our group has been able to achieve. We've paired with Regents to create a financial literacy program that addresses many different student concerns and opportunities as it addresses their finances. We've also been able to work on a financial transparency document that addresses all the different fees that are associated with the student activity fee to help raise awareness about how student money is being allocated across campus. And finally, as we're having ring week right now, and I hope that you're buying uh, your student ring, we're very excited that we broke the record last semester and are hoping to do that again this week. As I start to step out of this role, I'm very humbled for the time that I've had, uh, very proud of all the memories and relationships that I've built but I'm very excited as well uh, just to see Jake Darling step into this new role as treasurer. He's somebody that supported me very well over this last year and I know that he'll serve the student body very well moving forward. Hi, my name is Molly Boudreau and I'm currently serving as the Executive Vice President of Outreach for Auburn Student Government Association. This month in Outreach, we only have a couple of updates. External Affairs is working with the city to plan an on-campus event for Mayor Anders to come to campus in the spring. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Branch is collecting donations for the Campus Career Closet. The Outreach Programs Branch just finished up Career Day, which was so much fun. Thank you all for coming out to that. It was a great time. And the Feedback and Assessment Branch is about to release their yearly Auburn Answers Report. It has been such an honor to serve you all in this role this year. Next month, I'll be bringing the next Executive Vice President of Outreach to join on the show with me, and I'm really excited for you all to meet them. Um, it has been such an honor to serve in this role. I wish the next administration so much luck and the very best. And thank you and War Eagle. War Eagle, y'all. This is Michael Thomas coming at you for the last time from initiatives. Um, so I just want to share a couple different things that we look forward to and that we reminisce on. Um, and so first, as we welcomed a lot of students back on campus this fall, we implemented an entire new tire card system. Um, a new physical card and a new mobile access card to where now you're getting into athletic events, you're getting into residence halls, paying for your meals, all with your phone, all with mobile access, um, which has been a really neat experience. Um, just as well, as we look to the new hotel that will be being built, um, the Rain Culinary Science Center, right across from Sanford Hall, and we'll have the Ponce City Market type feel um, that'll be called the Heyday Market. This will be named after one of Auburn SGA's long-standing traditions, um, and we'll continue that with nine different food vendors in that area that will all be able to be purchased with through your declining balance tire card. And lastly, something that we're super excited um, as we've been able to enjoy football and go crazy with basketball, we are now welcoming a new baseball student section. Um, so we're bringing baseball back up to where it is um, and including that in the full student experience of athletics. Um, so that outfield line, right center field, the wall has been torn down. Um, so there will be a see-through wall with a drink rail um, and that space will be fully dedicated to students um, and letting students congregate and just be out there together and support the Tigers as an Auburn family. It will be operated similar to what the parking deck used to operate as. Um, and because this space is outside of the stadium, f outside food and beverages will be allowed. Um, so we will have a lot of fun with these different things and look forward to the future. War Eagle. 
Hey guys, it's Tyler. I'm so excited that I got to serve as the first executive vice president of cabinet administration this year. Um, we've seen a lot of different things, creating a new uh, brand, a new program within SGA. We had a lot of different programs like the Albee program um, and also Freshman Forum that have been around for a couple of years. They got to really get our footing into the ground, but we also had groups like recruitment that were able to come in um, and build from the ground up. They were able to go out and share information uh, whether that was in Kim Eagle or SOS sessions, um, just about what SGA does and how people can get involved. Um, we've been able to do things all across our cabinet, um, especially connecting them with Senate has been one of my favorite things that I've been able to do. Um, over the past three years, I've served um, as an AVP in cabinet, as a senator, um, but this job as EVP has definitely been one of my favorites. Um, it's been a way to kind of take all that I've learned in the past three years and not only use it for myself, um, but allow others to kind of use that wisdom and benefit from it as well. I'm excited for the next group to kind of come in, take the torch, um, and just take it in a direction that they want to. But I'm excited that I've, and so thankful that I've had the honor of doing this for the past three years. Um, and I appreciate you guys for entrusting me with it. War Eagle, have a good day.